All right, everybody, you're here live with Eddie's post-game show. Um, I know this is a little late um, from yesterday's New York Rangers versus the uh, Washington Capitals. Um, as most of you know, I know one or two of you guys had asked, where was the post-game show? Um, I actually traveled to New York yesterday to go see the game, had wonderful seats, and I traveled back that same night, so I was unable to do the post-game show while outside or in their arena. Too much noise. So I'm doing it tonight for you guys. So I'm going to get a right, um, right to it with a you know, couple of quick pointers. Um, one quick one I want to say, I love the way the Capitals started last night. They were fast, they were aggressive, and they were still in the puck. They were causing the Rangers to turn the puck over in their own zone. Um, you saw what happened with the Capitals starting fast. They were able to get four goals. Now, all four of their goals that they got were pretty much in the first quarter. This game was over in the first quarter, Okay. All they had to do ultimately, which is what they did, is they still took shots in the second and third period, even though the Rangers outshot the Capitals in the second period. What they did is they played keep away from the Rangers, you know. If you keep the puck away from the opposing team when you have four goals, even if they get a goal or two, it's going to be hard for a team to come back from four goals down. Um, second of all, I liked how everybody touched the puck. Everybody got a goal. TJ Oshie. Alex o, Alexandra Ovechkin, you know, those guys were down there. They got into the blue paint. They was able to cause havoc. They was able to smack the pucks into the back of the net. Um, they even scored on a New York Rangers power play. I don't remember the last time the Capitals even scored on the opposing team's power play. I think it's been a while. Um, number three, I want to say I love the way that they crashed the boards. I mean, they crashed the boards. Letting the Rangers know that they weren't afraid and they weren't scared. And when they did that, that let the Rangers know that they got to play fast, that they got to play harder. Um, yes, again, in, in the second period, the Rangers got that one goal from Leanis Anders, uh, Anderson. But that was pretty much all they got, even though they outshot the Capitals in the second period. Then they got the, um, pretty much that wide open net goal in the third period, but then that was it. I mean, it was a phenomenal game. Again, I love the way the Capitals started. Um, if they play like this the last five games of the season that they pretty much had, they can pull away from the teams like the Penguins and the Columbus Blue Jackets and win this division. Um, it's very pivotal for them to win this division so they can get home court in the first round and hopefully home court in the second round. Um, so I want to tell you guys, you guys can follow me at Twitter at RV at Riverdale VFD 73. Again, once again, you can follow me at Riverdale VFD 73 at Twitter. Let me comment. You know, you can post it. You can repost this on your website if you want to. I'll be back live in another two and a half hours after this Wizards and Spurs game. Stay posted.